Jessica, we followed the syllabus guidelines of assessment for learning and collated your assessments and analysed the data. It appears that writing is an area that your class in general would benefit from a teaching and learning sequence or a unit that explicitly addresses these needs. The first step you could take could be to unpack the writing and representing outcome for your stage. So the stage three um, writing and representing outcome is composes, edits and presents well-structured and coherent texts. So in order to plan your learning sequence, a suggestion would be to look at the key processes of respond to and compose within that outcome to see what content markers could apply to the needs of your class. It would be advisable to not over plan, so perhaps one or two will be enough. The reason it's preferable to start with these key processes is because they help to organise and emphasise the syllabus content within the stages of learning. So the data is showing their understanding and use of persuasive text is not as strong as the imaginative or informative. I would like to develop a unit of work that focuses on persuasive as a concept. So I would probably select composers text that includes sustained and effective use of persuasive devices. And I would also look at students being able to reread and edit their own work as well as others to ensure they use an agreed criteria and explaining setting choices. Usually I would then go back to each outcome in the stage and look at the respond to and compose content markers that would be relevant to the main goal of composing persuasive text. But for now we'll continue with the writing outcome and look at the other processes to see what threads or links we can find that relate to the respond and compose content markers that you've already decided on. Okay, so in personally engaging in text, the first marker is relevant because it's asking students to understand and appreciate the way texts are shaped through exploring a range of language forms and features and ideas. In developing and applying contextual knowledge, the second marker is definitely important because it's asking the students to explore and analyse the effectiveness of persuasive devices in text. And thirdly, understanding and applying knowledge of language forms and features. Um, we would be looking at the first marker because we're wanting our students to plan and draft, publish and publish persuasive text, choosing and experimenting with text, structures, language features, images and digital resources that are appropriate to the audience and purpose. Okay, so now we have a clearer idea of where to start. We would now go through the other outcomes and highlight the relevant content markers in the process. The process we demonstrated with the writing and representing outcome was also applied to the other stage three outcomes. We highlighted all relevant content markers that would also contribute to the planning of Jessica's unit on the concept of persuasion. So for reading and viewing, we had a range of things that we would want our students to address and particularly looking at how aspects of personal perspective influence responses to text. Responding and composing, we had two really important um, content markers that we were addressing, which would be analysing strategies authors use to influence readers and recognising the techniques used by writers to position a reader and influence their point of view. We've also addressed Objective C, particularly looking at recognising and explaining persuasive texts that contribute to engagement and meaning. We also want our students to express themselves throughout this unit through understanding how to move beyond making bare assertions and take account of differing perspectives and points of view. Our students will be required to reflect upon their learning as well through critical reflection and on the effectiveness of their own and others' writing, seeking and responding to feedback. So now that all the content markers have been selected, we now go into the process of devising an assessment of learning.